Hi there, Lori Williams here, and today we're going to create a few gel print collages. Um, this is from a technique um, I demonstrated in a previous video that we called gel prolage, and it's a lot of fun. I hope you give it a try. Let's jump right in. For this first gel prolage, I'm starting out with Deco Arts Primary Blue, which is a, a fluid craft acrylic, and I put a few dots here. I'm working on a 5x7 gel plate, and I'm just going to spread this with my brayer. Just a thin coat. I just want an even um, coat of the paint. Now I'll start paint, placing my collage images down on the plate. I'm mixing up some words that I've cut out of a magazine, some photos. And I'm just assembling the pieces here on my plate. I'm trying to look and see what will look cool and what areas. Just knowing that when I do go to pull this, um, not everything's going to come up, but I will have some elements left behind that I can work with. Now just gently pulling up these magazine pieces. And in some areas I left it down a little bit too long and it didn't pull, but that one right there gave me a really nice um, image transfer. But this one not so much, so I'll come back in and play around with that area. I love the way this bold text always transfers. Okay, so I'm reapplying a little bit of that blue down to my plate. It's still wet on my brayer. And this adding texture, this was shelf liner that I have that I keep. I keep all sorts of odd things in, around the house to do mark making. Um, honestly, nothing safe in my house. Just going through adding in some extra texture. I decided to add in some of the quinacridone magenta and see if I could get some more uh, detail on the plate. And I'm really having trouble with it pulling now that um, some of this is dry. I'm able to get a little bit and it's adding a little bit of detail but no major transfers. So I decided to just go ahead and add some of the yellow um, deco art fluid acrylic here and go ahead and pull this print. Again applying a nice even layer here and um, applying pressure as usual making sure I have good contact all around. Again I'm using my Baron. Um, this is a speedball product that allows me to add even pressure across the plate and then to do the pull. And it actually turned out pretty cool. This, and I can see a lot more detail than I thought I was going to see in the print. Okay, moving on to my next print. I'm going to start out with some Mars Black from the Liquitex Basic line and apply it evenly over my plate. And then start placing my collage materials. I decided to kind of keep this one a little simple and just put a few elements down with text and um, started pulling that back. Um, it actually worked quite well and you can see a lot of the detail. We have the dancing lady coming out of the room. <laughs> a lot of fun. So now I'm just going to apply some of uh, that Deco Arts blue and start adding a little bit more detail here and there. I decided to play around with some more of my text pieces since those work so well and then pull and add texture all around with my mark making tools Then pull back okay coming in with some aqua towards the top more text more texture. Okay. 
So here I decided to add a little bit of yellow and mix it with the Cronacridone magenta in my palette and spread and add a little extra color to a plate and some texture. Another one of my mark making tools that I created using washers and attached them to a cardboard. And I'm just applying color sort of strategically in different places um, on my print, keeping in mind the composition and where the eye might go when you look at the final piece. Okay, to finish off, I'm using the Deco Arch Yellow and I'm spreading a nice thin coat across the top, um, making sure it's kind of an even coat. And I'm ready to make my pull. Pressing firmly, making sure I have good contact all around, using my Baron just to be sure. If you don't have a Baron, it's okay. You can use your fingers and that works just fine. And now to pull back. And there we go. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration on the Gel Pro Lodge technique. If you want to learn more, you can go to the website at gelprolodge.com. That's where I post the videos and any resources and downloads and that sort of thing. If you're interested in giving this technique a try, use the hashtag Jill Prolodge wherever you post it so that we will see it in social media. I will be featuring various art from artists on the website as well. Also, just wanted to mention, you know, this video is brought to you by Mixed Media Mad. Mixed Media Mad is a community of mixed media artists working in a variety of mediums, but we're getting ready to launch um, this as of this recording, which is at the end of March 2021. We're getting ready to launch the gel print print experience. The gel print experience is just like a monthly kind of club where you can join and we're going to get together live and create um, gel, gel plate creations and we're going to be featuring some really fun technique videos from myself and a couple of other gel print artists as well. So if you're interested in checking that out, that you can learn more about that at mixedmediamad.com. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoy this. I hope you give this technique a try and I really can't wait to see what you create.